Okay, we're back with our Q3 math benchmark review, and this is number 28. And this SOL is 5.9b. The student will solve practical problems involving length, mass, and liquid volume using metric units. So this is a question that we did a lot of experiments in class to help us with solving practical problems that have to do again with length, mass, and volume, in this case, liquid volume. So let's go ahead and read this question and start highlighting our important information. So I have an empty box, and that actually matters, has a mass of 230 grams. A book has a mass of half a gram, half a kilogram, I'm sorry. What is the best estimate, so I don't have to be exact here, for the mass of the box with the book inside? So there's a couple things that I need to know here. First off, I need to be able to figure out what half of a kilogram is. So what I need to hopefully have memorized is that one kilogram because of kilo is equal to 1000 grams. So there's our first step, but they wanted half of that. And most of you did a good job on this question. Uh, yeah, this was an 80 percenter for us. You were able to take that thousand and cut it in half you divide by two and you've got your calculators. You get 500 grams. Now what did they already give us? Well, they already gave us 230 grams. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do some quick addition here. So I've got 730 grams, but look at my answer choices. I've gotta look at three fourths kilograms, two kilograms, 400 grams, 1,500 grams. I'm going to do some process of elimination here. I'm going to attack my answers right away. 1,500 grams. It's way too big. i got to be around 730. So you're gone. 400 grams. Too small. 2 kilograms. Well, that, if I remember what my K stands for, it's kilo. That means 2 times 1,000 grams. That's 2,000 grams. That's way too big. It's the biggest number up here. My answer should be 3 fourths of a kilogram. So what does 3 fourths mean here? It means I need 3 fourths of 1,000 grams because that's what 1 kilogram equals. And if you had remembered that 3 fourths equals... 75 hundredths, you could have done 75 hundredths times 1,000 with your calculator. And that would have given you 750 grams. And you can see they're pretty close to each other. That's why they said best estimate. So our best estimate here is 3 fourths kilograms, which is 750 grams, because our answer was 730 grams. There you go. A lot of tricks here, but we did pretty well on this one. Pretty well.